The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. the podcast prodigy. I don't think anybody says that. I don't that. think anyone That's says that. two weeks that. in a row. Two yeah, weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row that you have said that. <laughs> and it's still true. And I still don't think that the regular listeners... <sighs> Or buying it. I don't know. I think a lot of people. Maybe think some that. new people are like, God damn, this guy Is must he? be really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I can't wait to watch the rest of this. Boy, are they gonna be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I titled my comedy special as such. It's the same way that Scott yeah. is calling himself <laughs> right. good at podcasting. Anyways, right. we have two excellent stand up comedians first. He is the most homosexual, non lesbian lover person, Mr. J P. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant me. No. <laughs> I was like, screw you, dude. All right, fine. You're fine at podcasting. Right. And then also another excellent stand-up comedian. He just finished recording and, uh, and editing his very first uh, special. It has not been released yet. Mr. Mike Baldwin. hey Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I know. It's been a, a fantastic week. We've got an excellent show for you this week. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Especially the draft. Yeah, man. I'm uh, excited about all of it. I, I'm excited I am about fucking all of it. so excited. I feel like it's just going to make me want to spend money uh, it, that I don't have. It's very, very possible. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but th- if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Cock. But, yeah, see? Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises <laughs> and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. And sometimes I pull out my penis. Not always. And if it does come out, it, it's blurred out. So it's okay. That's a lot of blur. <laughs> nah, nah. I nah. don't think I don't think they can blur that much. I, I, That's why editors I'm like the, me. I'm the podcast prodigy. Because they just have to use two pixels. Uh huh. They, <laughs> <use, laughs> they can use the easy blur button. Yeah. I'm a prodigy dog. I can edit anything. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we do have an excellent episode for you. We got some current events. This is the first week of the NFL fucking season. Yeah. Yeah. We got that uh, to go over and a little bit more. Uh, we got overrated and underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas and draft I'm very excited for. And as always, a shitty situation. But we start out every single episode about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And Mike, you've been gone for the longest amount of time. What have you been up to, my friend? Um, I went to Toledo, Ohio to do comedy. <sighs> It was Man, fun. But times are tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you don't, <laughs> you're not kidding, buddy. Ooh. Was LeBron but, there? I don't know. If he was, I didn't see him. He's from Akron, but I You'd figured, probably see him. Yeah. I feel like I would be like, hey, I recognize that yeah. person. <laughs> so, no, I'm going to say, damn, no. But on the way there, all right, so check this out. My car, my Honda Fit, best car ever made, has uh, the push button start. So it has the proximity key fob yeah. thing, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm pumping gas. I was wearing my uh, like comfy shorts, so I didn't have a back pocket to put my wallet in. I guess that doesn't matter for this story. But anyway, I was just holding my keys in my hand, and I just set them on top of my car while I was pumping gas. Oh, shit. And so then I put the gas thing back, and I get back in my car. I push start. It starts up up because according to the car like yeah the keys are close enough bro and so i drive out of the gas station i drive down the road a little bit i get onto the on-ramp to go onto the highway and i hear like a 
keys sliding across the roof of my car like noise and immediately i was like oh fuck my keys so i pulled over on the side of the shoulder there on the on-ramp and i get out and i've got my flashlight on my phone i left my door open a little bit because i was like if i don't find my keys i'm gonna be locked out you know oh fuck. Uh, so like uh i've got my flashlight on my phone i'm looking in the shoulder and everything and then i cross to the other side and i'm looking i'm looking in the middle there's cars fucking driving by all over the place Jesus. i'm like i hope nobody runs over it and so i did a big circle i finally get back to my car and i look at the roof of my car and the fucking keys are just sitting on the roof <laughs> like they didn't fall off they just slid down a little bit and i didn't even think to look i just immediately ran to the street but i was like sweet that was fucking close God. and just got back in my car and kept going but i'm just glad that i didn't because i had the radio blast and up until i pulled into the gas station and i'm glad that i didn't hadn't turned it back on yet because i wouldn't have heard that yeah and then my car would have just stopped at some point <laughs> you would just had to trek backwards <laughs> yeah for, for like a mile then keys. probably yeah. oh yeah it could have been way worse but i left a tablet uh on the on the oh. trunk of a grand prix once yeah um and and put it in the back of the spoiler to where it wasn't going anywhere and this chick drove off and yeah that was that was not good that was a work tablet too mm. good shit i had a girl leave her phone on top of of uh, my car once oh and we heard it go ding ding ding, ding <laughs> as it like for the wind finally caught it when we were on the highway and we went back and got it in, in multiple pieces i'm sure it was <laughs> anyway uh, so uh, i did that i yeah. went to toledo then this last week and i went to duluth minnesota and uh how was duluth dude it's so pretty up there i know it's like uh it was fine though i my sister asked what it was like up there and i was like male and female are all in jeans and sweatshirts <laughs> really it's the same thing i mean it just i saw a lot of that i'm where sure they're like it's chilly out you know any like, of them wear uh what's those shoes i mean there were really plenty like? of hot chicks hey, there dudes. too don't get me no, wrong no 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 not those shoes this the, the sandals that oh the ones i hate birkenstocks birkenstocks, birkenstocks? i didn't i wasn't looking at feet oh okay yeah. nah, it was worth a shot i don't i just look at boobs and <laughs> or faces occasionally <laughs> wool socks and birkenstocks well, if you ever see wool socks and birkenstocks <laughs> it's time to fucking go to a new bar <laughs> that's all i'm saying that's all I'm saying. You're I would probably date, in the wrong bar. I would date a girl that wore wool, wool socks. socks and Birkenstocks. So would a lot of other girls. <laughs> yeah. What if she had Doc Martens? Does that change the equation at all? Mm, yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Is that a characteristic, Doc Martens? No, not really. I was really. going to say Birkenstocks and that's wool socks. That's more goth. Yeah. yeah, Birkenstocks and wool socks. That's, <laughs> I bet her breast smells like pussy. <laughs> that's yeah. all I know. And her hair's cut real short. Yeah. Uh, anyways, anything else happened to, on, on, your, on your fun trip to Duluth, Minnesota? Um, I mean, just the comedy went well. There, yeah. was, there was a blind girl in the audience. The She had her gu guide dog with her and stuff. And I was like, hey, look, a dog. <laughs> and I was like, are you? She was like, it's my guide dog. And I was like, are you blind? And then she gave the worst answer. Like, it's either yes or no. If it's yes, then it's like, all right, I'm going to make blind jokes because that's why you're here. Yeah. You don't be blind and go to a comedy show and be like, I hope they don't talk about me. <laughs> like you want. But she said, I'm going going blind and my immediate thought in my soul was like oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> but you can't say that on stage so i was just like yay that's awesome good for you or something i don't know what i said but god. the audience was like jesus mike and i was like what am i supposed to say like oh oh no let's all stop the comedy show and anyway so yep that happened yeah and that's all you can talk to jp now if you want well i, I mean if jp wants to talk about his his fabulous weekend that he he likes to have i smoked pot i yep. played video games i went bowling yeah man i went bowling last night yeah and uh see, see Derek. yeah how's he doing nobody cares he he beat me <laughs> he beat uh, you. do you did you mean to see him are you guys no, just, we're on the same team <laughs> oh okay i didn't know if you guys just separately like no. saw each other at the bowling alley and was no. just like every, up? every week uh yeah man it was rough no <laughs> was uh, it i don't even know why like i could have put my dick in the ball and threw it down there and scored better than i shot my <laughs> first game like it's not i'm not even joking yeah 123 oh man i've done that before 
I bet you have. And I suck at both. So has every third grader in the country. <laughs> uh, and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. And then the second game, I did better, and then I shot 250. But, man, they, yeah. were, they were tough. They were tough. But was not, your one whatever lower than anybody else's that game? Absolutely. <laughs> Like, in, the, in the whole bowling alley. It was low in the whole bowling alley. I'm like, sure of that. Like a kid's birthday party <laughs> was, birthday was like, party. come watch this yes, fucking dude, shitty watch bowler. This fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's the handicapped kids at the very end that use the fucking still, ramp. Yeah, they're still kicking yeah, my they're ass. They're still kicking oh, yeah. JP's ass. No doubt about it. But uh, <sighs> got a new TV. Yeah. So that's good. Thank Flat goodness. screen or tube? Flat. Oh, okay. Flat I don't know where to. I don't know. A tube. I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, well, it's one of those big consoles with the record player inside. <laughs> nice. Hey, dude. Gra- right. yeah. Garage sale or Best Buy. We yeah. actually had one of those. Good. Me too. <laughs> in like the late 80s. What? It's so crazy how inexpensive TVs are now. I know. It's dude, insane. $400. And how many? 65 inch 4K. That's fucking a fucking TV, dog. 400 bucks. That's, Is it a smart TV? Yeah. yeah, so that means it it's be. fucking watching yeah. and listening all the time. Oh, it, dude. Yeah. I even have an app on my phone so it can listen to me when I'm here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my phone's listening to us, too, and my watch in case my phone Bad, fails yeah. for some Smart. reason. Yeah. Smart. Dude, yeah. they're just mapping the world. Oh, for sure. They're mapping the whole earth and listening to everything. Dude, I read they're, it. Doing, they're doing right what Hitler did wrong. <laughs> That's all. Look, all I'm saying is when the white van starts showing up, you guys are, I'm not going to be surprised. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a good point. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so you got a 65-inch TV screen, dog. Do you remember those the the big screens like back in like the uh, early two thousands nineties that were part of your entertainment center? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it, yeah. like you had to have a cabinet the to cabinet. engulf that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. 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 I uh, I miss those. No, they were I don't trash. I don't miss moving them. <laughs> we I don't either. I had to move several yeah, of them they were in heavy. my those, years. And now you pick up a sixty five inch TV by yourself, and it's just awkward to fit through doors. That's the only like I had to take a I had to take a pickup truck to go pick it up. That was the biggest. That was thing. the biggest and, dude, thing. Yeah. I drug it upstairs all by myself i took it out of the truck put yeah it in the tri- I mean, and you're gay so you're kind of weaker but, than most men uh, <laughs> everybody knows that <laughs> what that one there you go good for you <laughs> sorry oh, boy i bet jp is stronger than both of us uh it'd be t- it'd be close but I, I guarantee think he's, he's stronger than me I, I, I haven't fucking exercised in way too long dude i, I guarantee i love the fact that you think i have i mean i do bowl yeah. i mean bowling so, alone i bet yeah, you could beat me right. in arm yeah. wrestling yeah forearms are huge for bowling and other reasons mm-hmm. so yeah he, you're probably that's got, all got jp's me. doing is I've jerking some, dudes I, off and bowling i've got some mean throat muscles <laughs> <laughs> If we were having a competition <laughs> of sucking golf balls through garden hose, he'd win in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think I would. We're going to run out of golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> Makes money. God damn it. Uh, shit. Well, hey, uh, I'm glad you had a good weekend. Yeah, man. Big TVs are always really exciting. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's the same size as my old TV. Yeah, it's but still. But my old TV was getting dark. And it, in, in like corner, one area. Oh. And, and then it just kept like bleeding worse. And mm. I was like. Well, this isn't good. All I do is play video games. So have you played pot. games on the oh, new one? Man. And are you like, oh, oh man, I so, feel, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm there. Did you guys happen to watch the Apple thing today, where they announced the new mm-hmm. iPhones? I or? heard about it. It wasn't uh, it, it, nothing groundbreaking, really, but. Uh, but I'm excited for the mask thing. The yeah, you, t- you told us that you were excited. For but that. they have on the phones they're doing where they use multiple cameras to make it like a 3D thing that you can then watch on the things. And so I'm excited to record myself doing comedy and then let people watch it in 3D on their Apple Vision Pro. So all my fans out there that have six thousand dollars, fan. My fan, my fan out there. Sell your Apple Pro and send me the money. My box fan yes. out there. I'm just kidding. Um, But that's good. I'm glad you guys had a good week. Scotty, how was your week? (laughs) My week was... um, All right. That's about all the time we have for that. (laughs) All right. Uh, My week kicked off really well. Uh, This is the first week of of, uh, NFL football, which coincidentally is also fantasy football, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, But I'm a Detroit Lions fan that gets to go and be at a bar and watch a football game around... Chiefs fans. Nothing but Chiefs Dude, fans. That had to be awesome. It was so great. It was amazing. And you know what? I do have to say, the bar that I went to, I did get some disgusting and shitty looks. But, you know, you guys know me. I'm not obnoxious and annoying when I'm watching a football game. 
JP? Just when you're not watching your football <laughs> game. Quit it. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I went to a bar and we were watching the game. And actually, um, my wife was... Uh, my wife. My wife was bitchier than normal. And so we left before the end of the game. How uh, are you married? I know. I feel like she, she definitely heard does you not say watch that. the show. <laughs> she definitely doesn't. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, she wanted to leave. And so I wasn't going to obviously leave without her. So uh, we left before the end of the game. Went home and watched the the end of the game when my Lions won. It was awesome, um, so I was really excited about that. But while I'm at the um, while I'm at the bar watching the fucking game, I get a text message from our good buddy Derek, and it was just so reaching out for attention of that he doesn't give a shit about football. He texts me randomly and is just like, "Dude, I'm in a bar with no TVs." on the first day of the NFL season, and I don't even know who's playing. And I just text him back, and I'm like... First off, where the fuck is there a bar without TVs? <laughs> That's exactly what first I was First off, they first exist. off, you're a liar. No, he, he was so bitchy, he asked them to turn it the fuck off. That's oh what happened. He, t- he said, I'm sorry, but all of you people that are here watching the game, you need Seriously? to turn all of these off. Oh, God. It's just... What a and then And it's like, I just texted him back, and I'm like, good for you? question mark and he's just like exactly and i'm uh-huh. like uh, okay i'm on his side air five good for moving him moving on oh yeah and so it's and i know a lot of people like message Derek's not gonna watch football the nfl may fold it may <laughs> fold. it may fold you know it's they just, had a they had a rough year or two there in chicago no, just uh, football viewership and whatnot in oh, general. It's, it's, it's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. No, they're definitely coming back again. Oh, yeah. Um, but I was more excited because it was week one of fantasy football. So I have my ritual. I actually had family in town this weekend that I neglected to go and see because. I bet they were happy. I uh, don't give a shit. It's the first no, weekend I mean, of football. Yeah, they I probably they actually were. Yeah, they're they're like, like, oh, we don't God, have to hang out, out with them. Oh, cool. no, no. They, That's probably they, why they came on they a wanted, Sunday. <laughs> they wanted to go to other places and all this other stuff. And I'm like, no, you're not ruining my goddamn Sunday. I wake up at a reasonable hour. I sleep in. I watch my little show that I want to watch about fantasy football at 11. And then seven hours of commercial free football on red zone. That is my ritual. And I actually got to watch it with my wife and a friend and we had a great time. Uh, so yeah, it was a perfect weekend. I won my first game of fantasy football, so I'm happy. Uh, but I tried something, uh, yesterday, uh, about the show. I tried something. I really liked it. Um, we keep on getting messages, uh, and it, like text me- or not text messages, but Instagram messages, Facebook messages, Twitter messages for suggestions for the show. I thought it'd be a lot easier if I just went ahead, made a post, put it everywhere. And if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us. And there were a lot of good ones. Uh, there were a lot of ones that we've already done before. And I started to respond to those people. And then I realized there's just too goddamn many of them to go back and forth with. So if we don't use yours, chances are we probably have, but I'll try to respond as best as I can. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that every Monday. Or it's a bad idea. Or it's a bad idea. Uh, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that every Monday. I will send out a post to where if you think of anything new that we haven't done before and we like your suggestion, we're going to put it on a show. We're going to give you a shout out. And uh, today, we got Hell quite yeah. a few of them. What a great thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, if you like the show, write it for us. <laughs> Shut up. Like. <laughs> Uh, but no, it, and it was actually we really helpful. We can't send you a T-shirt because we don't have any. Uh, no, see, it's a it's a grassroots I, thing. We get start I, at the bottom, and once we're at T-shirt I'm, level, I'm working on that. Yes, I've had a whole bunch of people ask for merch. I know we can do it. It's just I, I I've got a lot of other stuff going on. My house is finally fixed. That's all good to go. So I'm it, just a lot of stuff's going on right now, man. That's Would it just it say T-shirt on the sidelines? Yeah, something like that. I would wear one of those. I'm sure you would. And people would be like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. Monday Fun Day, I will send out a post uh, on whatever platform. If you don't already follow us on on Twitter, because that's looking like where a lot of our stuff's not getting taken down, you might head on over there to at LOT Sidelines uh, and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, but now we can move on to the current events that we have for this week. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of football because that's basically what happened. I don't know about you guys, but um, <clears throat> I don't really care about college football, but there's one team I absolutely hate, and that is uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide. And uh, Texas goes into Tuscaloosa, 
Hook them horns, motherfuckers. Hook they horns, beat them. bitch. They beat them. That's right, they did. A good buddy of mine is... Everything's uh, bigger in Texas. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, uh, you got all of except this... Except for the gay community. Love Texas. No, <laughs> it's, it's huge. Is it really? Oh, my God. Oh, serious. good for them. Just oh, all yeah. over Austin, I'm guessing. Oh, Austin and Dallas. Uh, Dallas I believe is, it. Oh, my God. There's so much dick to be sucked in uh, Dallas. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I never... You're going to have to take my word for it, boys, but... Uh, when they say you're going to the big D, they yeah, don't mean they Dallas. Were, no, they and they don't mean divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, yeah. So so uh, Texas goes in, beats Tuscaloosa, Alabama, uh, or at, it goes goes and beats Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Uh, and I, I think the only people that were pissed off about that was Alabama. So yeah, good for you, Hook'em Horns, all that shit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but more importantly, obviously, we had the the NFL kickoff, which I'm fucking pumped about. Good for you, man. I'm wearing my lion shit. I'm excited. Yeah, you can. People were making fun of me because I wasn't saying Detroit right. Fuck you. What did you say? I was saying Detroit. I was putting what what all of the sports analysts call it, and so I, I figured out that's wrong. You're right. It is Detroit, and that's fine. Yeah, that's what I was talking about when TV shows say words wrong. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. Like I, if the character is supposed to be from Detroit, and he's like, I'm from Detroit, I'd be like, <laughs> somebody on the set should have been like, that's not how you fucking say it. Dude. Right. Oh, no, I was told multiple times I was pronouncing it wrong, but that's okay. Uh, but more, but obviously you had the, the results. And you know what? This is not necessarily a sports show. If you want the statistics and all that shit, you can go to ESPN.com, look that shit up for yourself. But I thought it was really interesting during the Chiefs and Lions game that defensive tackle Chris Jones was actually in the stands. Yeah. He yeah. was holding he out was, for a deal. Dude, for his, paid. A, his agents looked like they, they would have put you fucking, in a fucking body bag were, and buried you in the in, desert. They are in suits that looked like yeah, they were made dude. out of steel just surrounding this fucking guy yeah. and he just sitting there waving like knew he was on camera like i'm having a good time yeah. fucking pay me bitches yeah, yeah. and uh, as of today he actually did come out with the contract so he'll be back on the field most likely but uh it was just kind of weird i thought it was pretty awesome obviously detroit gets the win uh and the most valuable player during that game was Kadarius tony the wide receiver for the kansas yeah. city chiefs he was he deleted his twitter wow wow <laughs> that's how you that's know that's crazy Crazy. That's how you know it's bad. Whenever, yeah, that's whenever not you good. get done with the game and you can't even see what's on social media about you, that you just delete all social media and hope by halfway through the season everybody's finally stopped talking about it. And that's what he did. All of a sudden, like halfway through the season, people will start getting a little notification. Kadarius wants to be your friend, and you're like, <laughs> like "Hmm." I, don't I hear, know. I hear he drops the ball quite yeah, often, I so I, he's, he's not very dependable. I don't know if no. I want to be his friend or not. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. Um, then we're going to move on to, uh, Antonio Brown is making the news again. I don't know if you guys saw this, but, uh, not necessarily football related related, but, uh, the walking case of CTE was apparently at some frat party, uh, or a party in a college area. And he strips down to his underwear, including his pants. And he throws his pants onto a balcony, uh, with people on it not realizing that his fucking cell phone was still in his pant pockets. And obviously kids put that on social media because they now have Antonio Brown's phone. And what was on there? I'm I probably fucking, I don't know. God only knows on his phone. <laughs> no shit. That's probably a bunch of fucking crazy ramblings. Lots, and God lots, only knows. lots of attorneys, phone numbers. I'm yeah, sure just to try knows. to get him out of trouble and stuff. But thought that was very, very interesting. So how did they get in it? Uh, oh, I'm sure he doesn't lie. He probably has regular like spare cell phones. Just that's what he does. Or he just, his password is like one 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 one. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Well, they just found another black guy. <laughs> what? Explain. Because <laughs> to open your phone, you just have to look at it. Oh uh, fuck! And know that it's you. So oh, they right. just found another black. Thanks guy. Thanks for all your support <laughs> all these years, yeah, everybody. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. They, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Here, uh, look at this. <laughs> no. Huh? Um, but, <laughs> cool. It's <laughs> open. Yeah, Thanks, no, buddy. No, what? No, what did you? All right. All right. Um, next. That was true in China. That uh, actual thing happened. Yeah. What? Facial recognition was basically just opening the phone for anybody that w- yeah. that looked. Uh, at I did, it. I, and it I, was I like, we don't know. It yeah. looks like the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. And people are like, fuck you, man. That's racist. <laughs> like, but it's true. Uh, fuck. Anyways, moving on. Joe Burrow is now the highest paid player in the NFL. 
Uh, he received a five-year, $275 million contract. It's a good thing that they gave him that before they saw him play this week. No <laughs> shit. So he lost? Oh, wow. did he lose? Oh, yeah. God, he looked bad. I have yeah. a $5 bet with a stranger on the internet that uh, he won't make it to the playoffs. Oh, well, you're looking good so far. Yeah. They end up getting killed by the uh, – Cleveland Browns, and it was at Cleveland, so it was an away game. But the it was Browns rainy. are really good, right? They are. It was rainy. And I was, it was kidding. I didn't really know if uh, I, I well, they are. Like, yeah, uh, they're, they're, in are the, good. they're in the top part of. Yeah, I'd say they're in the top part. I'd say they're in the top two thirds. Okay, I'll go with. I, I think they're in the definitely. They're definitely in the top. Probably third. Ten, they're pro- no, they're in the top. They're the top. I'd say ten teams for sure. Yeah, they're probably. S- eighth. Yeah, I, I would say they're well, definitely the a top pl- third. That's the pl- that's the playoff yeah. contenders. So. Um, but yeah, he get absolutely owned by the Browns. It was very frustrating to watch. Uh, didn't look like himself. So uh, yeah, you know that's my advice well for him. He j- he just needs to be himself. Yeah, be himself, man. Just go be yourself out there, man. That's right. Um, then the uh, the Dallas Cowboys ended up uh, wow. absolutely shutting the fuck out of so, the, the New York Giants. So the Giants, I saw on uh, <laughs> TikTok, I saw. Uh, sports, some kind of sports podcast. Oh, yeah. Never has an NFL team in a season had a field goal blocked, uh-uh. had whatever. The, the There was five things that happened. Field goal blocked, pick six, like interception for a touchdown. And I don't there were There that. were five things yeah. that had went horribly wrong, and no team has ever had those five things happen in one season let alone one <laughs> fucking game. Like, it was, what? what? That's, like, that's great. Crazy. It was awesome. Crazy. Um, yeah, it was It was, It was. was very hard to watch. They walked right down the field, the opening drive, and then just it was, threw an yeah. interception. It was pretty, uh, yeah, it was It was rough for them. It was over after that. But I, I don't care. I, I, I know that the, the Cowboys' defense is very, very good. Yes, I'll give you that. But until they play uh, a team that's worth a shit, I'm not going to say that they're great because Dak Prescott had to be knocked out and put under sedation for a tattoo. He got in a tattoo that took 11 hours, and he had to be put out in order for him to withstand the pain of said tattoo. You big fucking pussy, you. Or he was just, like, smart about it. Uh, no. He's like, just wake me up when I look <coughs> awesome. Uh, whatever. Well, I'm going to take gonna... a nap. <laughs> That's what I would do. Oh. I would do that if I went to the dentist or something. Nope. I wouldn't be like, keep me awake for this 11-hour <laughs> surgery. Yeah. And uh, the reason why Derek is not on this episode this week is because even though he says he doesn't care about football, his uh, Chicago Bears woes are continuing after losing to the Packers and Jordan Love as the new quarterback. Favre and Rodgers have been the starting quarterbacks for the Green Bay Packers since 1992. Hmm. So this is the very first time that it wasn't one of them, and they still got beat. It was pretty bad. So The Packers got beat? No, the no, Bears, Bears got beat. Uh. So the so, Packers continue the trend of picking a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, yeah, the jokes continued of the Packers quarterbacks owning the Chicago Bears. And it and it was pretty bad. Just Justin Fields looked terrible. So hopefully they can get it figured out, but probably the most important news out of anything over the weekend happened on Monday Night Football. It was September 11th, so this is the anniversary that everybody gets around the city of New York City and makes a huge deal over September 11th, 2001, and all of the the things, you know, and all of the players running out with American flags. And this year, the New York Jets have a new quarterback named Aaron Rodgers coming from the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers was very, very highly touted, and now the New York Jets are not only going to be a playoff contender, they are a Super Bowl contender with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers then got his first opportunity for a drive, his first offensive drive as a New York Jets. He lasted 75 seconds on the field before rupturing his Achilles and is now out for the season. Did was it from somebody hitting him, or did he just step weird, he or stepped what? On somebody, he 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 was getting sacked, was brought to the ground, and if at first, if you just watch the play, he stands up, kind of limps a little bit, and then just sits down. He just it doesn't look like he's in a lot in any kind of pain. He just knows better than he to j- fucking be on. He just he knows sits he's down, up. Yeah. right. 
He's and like, so, come get me. Yeah, yeah pretty I'm done. much. Yeah. Pretty much. And so and so he just sits down. You can see he's frustrated. All of the Jets fans, I mean, there were celebrities galore at this game. Justin Timberlake, the guy from the office who spilled the fucking chili. <laughs> I mean, everybody was there. Okay? Like every fucking the guy from the office who spilled the chili. I know chili. exactly who you're talking yeah. about. Kevin. So, Kevin. I don't know his yeah, real Kevin, name, yeah, exactly. but he was actually he came here for one of our oh, soccer did he? games. Oh, cool. Yeah. I, I like the guy, but he no. was so excited. All of these New York Jets fans finally have something to cheer for. And Aaron Rodgers <laughs> just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> crashes and burns uh, in 75 seconds total time. He was a quarterback. He didn't have a single completion uh, at all either. So he is going to be out for the season. Wow. And so there's a lot of questions now of what's going to happen. Is it going to be Zach Wilson who comes in later as the and and actually leads the Jets to win the game? They actually win in New York at the very last play of the game. It was an overtime, a kick return. Was Justin Timberlake happy? I I still don't. It's like a bittersweet victory. You know what I'm saying? They're playing the Bills, who's probably one of the best teams in the AFC. And they still get the win. And it's not like it was like, you know, Rodgers helped him kind of get the momentum going. No, he was on the field for 75 seconds. So Zach Wilson and, in my opinion, Brees Hall legitimately run won this football How game. How much money does Aaron Rodgers still get anyway? Oh, I don't, all of it. I don't know, but I think it was like a three-year contract and it was like guaranteed $25 million per year. All right. So I mean, it. it I, and I, I don't quote me if I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but I, I just read something very briefly about it. But it's a shitload of money that I think that the Jets are going to be very frustrated. Even the head coach was just. You just looked like the face of defeat in his in him whenever this injury happened. I wonder where bad. that money actually comes from. I bet the NFL team has injury insurance i bet there's some insurance company out there that's like hey look man it'd be a shame if something happened to your guy yeah that for would only, be a good business for actually. only five hundred thousand dollars a month that'd you can insure this guy against sure. injury yeah and now that insurance smart. company's like fuck yeah, we gotta yeah. pay this out <laughs> that is and it was and it was it was so crazy because he just looked like he was walking on eggshells when he did you watch the game at all jp i did i mean when he was walking out on the field even the first couple of drives it looked like he was just taking it easy not trying to do too much of course he was so was he hurt already before the game yeah in the preseason he had had a calf strain yeah and 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 so that was i'm guessing the same leg that he ruptured that achilles tendon yeah i don't know but he was definitely not himself it just looked weird yeah, I agree. So, and I believe that was the way the script was written. So. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, this is another for one of those people that think, oh, it's so scripted. No, that is not the best script that the NFL could write. If the NFL could write a script, Aaron Rodgers would be in the Super Bowl and it would be the most amazing thing ever. So that uh, fell flat on its face. But my favorite thing out of this entire ordeal was there was a there is a bar in Green Bay, Wisconsin that made it uh, um, like a pledge to their fans. Anybody that comes in on Sunday and the Jets lose, they will buy their drink tab. Okay. Okay. So Aaron Rodgers go down. And the bar packs out. And the bar just gets packed, and they just run up drink tabs at this point. And so whenever the Jets come back and win, it's kind of funny, but a lot of those people were really shocked about how big their bar tab was and that they had to pay it. Wow. So joke's on you, motherfuckers. And the bar is like the opposite of the guys at the insurance company. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're like, like, yeah, exactly. We fucking did it. It's it like worked. A, it's like a catch-22. You know, you don't want the Jets to win because you don't like Rodgers, but you just made a lot of money for your bar. Yep. It's a win-win. Uh, but yes, that is that is all of the current events that I had. It's God, all. thank God, <laughs> fucking football, stupid. Hey, let's move on. For what it's worth, it was an action pack. This is the most action packed like week one of of the NFL I've ever experienced. Let's I start talking so about much. our balls and shit. I mean, we can. Let's quit talking about footballs and start talking about my balls. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, but yes, uh, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. You My know. balls. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I got too high. And JP's balls. 
You have fairy dust balls? Yeah. I do I I don't not have fairy dust balls. Yeah, can I, you see I do not. He puts like Vaseline and glitter just on, yeah. on there so they just oh, look all sure. sparkly. Like I do I do my balls like women do their lips. If I was like, I'm I fucking, fucking drives me nuts. I'm not gay, but I would if if I saw regular balls and then balls with Vaseline and glitter on them, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't want to do anything with the glittery ones. They're gonna make just my so- hands oily and shit and like no. I won't be able to get this glitter off for months. I, I had a girlfriend say the phrase, why do you have glitter all over your lips one time after I drunkenly made out with a girl? This was in my early 20s. Oh, but okay. So it makes it okay. Just looking back and feeling the look that I made to her of like, oh, God, how do you know that <laughs> I have glitter on my lips? Yeah. But I learned. I, I get, learned young. I get caught, man. Yep. I get caught. Uh, but anyways, we get to kick off this uh, this week's episode with the fun stuff, which is uh, with overrated or underrated. Uh, we've got some uh, some fan suggestion on, or we have a fan suggestion on this one, so we're gonna kick it off with his uh, from Instagram. Chase Golden <coughs> wants to know: overrated or underrated makeup sex? Overrated. Really? Yeah. Why are you Why are you glorifying fighting with your spouse? Oh, you're girlfriend. talking about like you get in a fight with somebody and then you make up and have sex. Yeah. I thought you were talking about shoving lipstick up your ass. <laughs> and I was pro. I was pro on that. So. Damn, no. That's not. <laughs> no, that's not. The that's, doctor's like, oh, God. Oh, that's lipstick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, All worry, right. What doc. are we doing here, buddy? Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Get rid of your blemishes. You got foundation down there, really? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Make yeah. up sex. It's gross. Absolutely disgusting. That's kind of funny. No, though. makeup sex. You know, you get into a fight with your spouse, and then you have sex. At this point, I would take it. Oh, makeup sex? I would like, take it. Like if. when I just imagine it and masturbate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I have right. made up sex all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's 10 out of 10. That that kind of makeup sex. I, I But no, I, I'm I'm the one that's married in here. Yeah. And uh, I can honestly say I've never had makeup sex. <laughs> <laughs> No, if we go to bed, if, if we we have a rule, and that rule is... If she is, had sex with you at all, I'd be shocked. It's. it's I know it happens, but I don't like to does. think about it. It does. Uh, Poor girl. I, I think about it all the time. I turn her down all the time, too. Is that when you're doing your makeup That's sex? my made-up sex, yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking about Scotty and his wife. And no. I'm so sorry. That's not true. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> uh, no, makeup sex is awesome, man. It's so underrated. I, I like... Uh, when you get to the points where you fight just so you can make up, it's it, that's that's fun. Yeah, it's like what are we fighting about? This is so stupid. Well, I'm fighting because I wanna I wanna make love to you. Okay, I think that's overrated. I'm in. Oh yeah. no, it's I'm great. gonna go overrated. Overrated. How about you? The actual makeup sex. I just don't like the. I if I'm fighting to have sex, then that's me planning to have sex, and <laughs> you I'm don't not like the planning. I don't, I don't like planned <laughs> sex. <laughs> God damn it. It just takes me out of it, dude. It makes it feel <laughs> like a job or something, you know? Oh, that's so weird. That's so crazy. Sex, seven o'clock. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. I'm very stubborn. All right, fine. Uh, there you go, Chase. Hope you like that. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, female bodybuilders. You know how I feel about lesbians. <laughs> How? Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me these bodybuilders wear wool socks and Birkenstocks. I guarantee when they're not when they're not lifting pumping weights in the gym, they're probably still wearing their wool socks and Birkenstocks on the treadmill. <laughs> probably, yeah. yeah. I say I say way overrated. I uh oh shit, I just thought of something that I wanted to talk about and we'll get to it in a second, but but make, um, make a note, don't forget. I I won't. I won't. Um but anyways, I, I'll, I'll say it, I'm just, yeah, I, I'm gonna say overrated as well. I, I don't, I don't know what compelled me to do this, but you know, when you're on the hub, you're on the hub and you're scrolling through something, you know, good five minute long video to take care of the situation that you're in. And I have no idea, but one time I did click on something in particular that had a ripped chick on it, like absolutely, uh, she was obviously a bodybuilder. And it was the scariest fucking shit I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. It was so goddamn scary. Yeah. And it was like, well, 
I, I don't need to take care of this issue anymore. It's long gone. I don't need to do this anymore. So it is way overrated. Your penis just ran away. It went back it like, inside of my no, body. No, I, 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 we're I, not watching this. I suddenly had a second belly button is basically yeah, what I had. Happened, so, yeah, happens. no. Yeah, well, yeah. It, overrated. Uh, how about you? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, it's No. I don't like it. Can't I don't want to can't fall for a chick that will whoop your ass. Right? I need to know that in the unlikely circumstance that I'm going to have to pin this bitch down. I need to yeah. know that yeah, you can that I can. Yeah, if that she's you, going. If crazy, I want to rape her. I can. <laughs> no, not that. But <laughs> that's like, the way he said she, it. Though. If she steals my keys or something and like tries to run out or like throws a plate <laughs> against the wall. Keys. Yeah, like I I need to be able to be like it's the most important thing. I need to be able to grab her by the shoulders and be like, calm down. (sighs) Like you're overreacting without her fucking flipping me over and like punching me in the sternum or something. (laughs) Right. I don't right in the sternum. And, or even like in her sleep or something like a, I've had I've had girls kick me in our sleep before, but they were a normal weak girls. Uh-huh. I don't want to get kicked by a fucking strong girl. <laughs> <laughs> only the only the hardcore fans will understand. But where are your keys at? Uh, but anyways, uh, I yeah, I'm with you. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated Yelp reviews. Uh, they're overrated. Okay. Because anybody, you don't have to prove that you did the thing to rate it. Oh, okay. I didn't even think about that. So if you, if like Derek opens up a coffee shop or something, I'm going to give it one star because I'm going to be like, that guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking go there. And then, but then people are like, but the coffee's really good. <laughs> it's like, well, that's what the review should be. Right. Derek, but, Derek goes to a bar, reviews it, and said they had football on on uh, when I was there, right. and I didn't want to one star. Yeah, uh, somebody said uh, DoorDash is a way better review of like restaurants. And oh, stuff, okay. Because then you know the person actually got the food. I got you. And like ate it, and yeah. was like it was good. I, I also think it's overrated because if you look at somebody's Yelp review or even just reviews in general. And you go and you look at the ones that are like one star uh-huh. and actually read the comments of what they had to bitch about. You just want to look at their their comment and respond, re, like reply to them in some way and go, sounds like you were kind of being a piece of shit. Yeah. You know, I did that when I, I just my bank got bought out by another bank. So I had to get a new bank app and I was looking at their reviews and I always go most critical. Yeah. I want to see the one stars and people are just like, my Internet won't connect. And it's like, that's Ex- not the app. Exactly. Dude. Like, why are you bitching at the app about Ugh. having shitty Internet? So frustrating. And, and, you, and you just those people are have out there having kids and voting and you're just like god damn it mm-hmm. obviously they're voting <laughs> well both how about you jp a way overrated yeah <clears throat> same reasons same reasons same so, reasons fair enough moving on moving, moving on. on uh all right uh we got another uh a fan suggestion this is i'm not sure where from but i did write the name down uh, this is from Alex uh, Shinover, I believe is how you pronounce. Shinaver. Shinaver, Shinaver, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I say shine you know shine ever. Alex, appreciate the suggestion. Uh, overrated or underrated? Surprise birthday parties. Underrated. You think? Yep. Why? Because I fucking have you had one kill thrown for a birthday for you? party. <laughs> have you ever had a surprise? No. I don't think I have. That's either. why I say that it's underrated because I think I want one. You think you want one? Well, I mean, you're you're kind of predicting one now. I think that I predict that more people will come to my funeral than will come to a birthday party that I get surprised by. Oh, you're definitely correct on that, man. That's what kind of. Yeah, I think everybody will. That'll happen. I wish that people would treat my comedy the way that they would if I died now while i'm alive that's a brilliant idea start naming your comedy special the wake of of mike baldwin or just have it say 1981 to 2024 or whatever that's actually not a bad idea did he die that sucks what the fuck like every time a comedian dies everybody shares (laughs) their clips and shit and there's like man this dude was a fucking genius he should have been famous and And then he becomes famous later because of all of his work that he that nobody ever heard like you know he might not have done that thing he did if you guys would have fucking clicked on some shit earlier yeah uh (laughs) 
Hey man, don't <laughs> don't kill yourself. No it's threats. Not, hey man, no threats. I'm don't just do saying. it, man. You're a good guy. It you got lower, so much to live for. It would lower the odds a lot. Is uh-huh. all I'm saying. Everybody has. I think of everything in like terms of uh, that we're living in a simulation, and in a, like if you play Madden football or something, they have the scales from one to a hundred of like. Oh yeah, yeah you yeah. know, like how how good is this guy's defense? How good oh, is yeah. his offense? I imagine one of those for every aspect of everything. Because if you have a supercomputer big enough to like run a worldwide simulation, it's smart enough to like give me a different level of what were we just talking about? Uh, team, uh, or no, I don't know, fame, Fucking, fortune, I don't know, all of that shit, anything you can imagine. Like we have a level of one to a hundred of it. Like, okay, like yeah. my luck in comedy is lower than the dudes that are on Netflix right now. <laughs> okay, because their yeah. comedy luck is obviously way Pretty fucking yeah. higher than mine. Oh yeah. Anyway, but, but we can get him to put us in his will, and then it will be okay. I was going to ask if I could be your executor, <laughs> yeah, and no then shit. I would take care of well, sending out you, the at, clips after you fucking will off you? yourself. At, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Absolutely. I've probably got days of, of old. I record my, with my voice recorder in the hand that I hold my microphone in. So, dude, I have like every show I've done for the past 10 years. That's dedication, folks. You should look up Mike Baldwin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> make him famous before he shoots himself in the head. Yeah, really. I don't. I, well, I'm not going to say whether I have a gun or not. But I don't because I would. That's a Louis C.K. joke too, where he's like, "I could never be a cop because there's ten th- times a day where I would just be like, fuck this." Yeah. <laughs> uh, surprise birthday parties are awesome. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> surprise. That's what, that's what we were talking. That was yeah. the point I was trying to make. Was like my level of wanting a surprise birthday party is like a 71, and yours is probably like a. 90 or yep. something yeah surprise birthday parties are awesome i i supremely fucked myself on a surprise birthday one time why you ruined it i ruined it for myself yeah uh because i legitimately thought everybody forgot my birthday uh, so, so i was being a bitch oh no 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 it way worse i uh i legitimately thought everybody forgot my birthday and this was this was i was 23 24 years old something like that and I did not know that they were throwing me a, a surprise birthday party in public. And so by the time I got no happy birthday messages from anybody all day long. So naturally in my depressive state, I went home uh, and just drank myself stupid. Uh. And because my wife, which who was my fiance at the time, uh, drugged me to in public uh, to a place where I was way too drunk to be in public and it was a very very embarrassing moment which is why i am 26 27 weeks over today nice good uh, job i actually push the crickets to it sometime but but, <laughs> but it's very bad see i i don't blame you for that though i blame the other people involved because no gotta, i blame myself it's well i blame a, you for being a, a lot, for yeah. being a drunk asshole yes, or whatever exactly, but yeah. i blame them for not being like well text him happy birthday like don't let him think anything's weird don't ignore him yeah. all day and treat him like he's a piece of shit. It's still my fault, and I am kind of a piece of shit sometimes. Oh, by the way, happy anniversary to my wife. That's uh, tomorrow. That's beautiful. I'm so <laughs> yeah. happy for you guys. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, everybody answered that one, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next one. Oh, sorry. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Doomsday prepping. Way underrated. Really? Absolutely, Are dude. Are you one of those guys? I mean, I'm. It's logical, you know. If you spend two hundred dollars on a big bucket of food that lasts for thirty years, like worst case scenario, you've just got a bucket that you've got to haul around when you move and shit, and you never use it. But like best case scenario, you're like, all right, we've got a month of food. We don't have to leave the house. Oh man. But I mean, I'm, if you're talking about like digging fucking bunkers, yeah, that's and what shit. I'm talking about. I'm oh, talking no, about I'm, bunkers and bunkers. Like, there's actual companies that make millions of dollars every single year putting like bunkers, like, like bunkers, concrete like, make, shit. Yeah, like yeah. putting them underground. No, but it's still prepping to just have. Have you heard the term bug out bag? Uh, yeah, I have like a, a bag of essentials where like if something fucked up happens, oh, if, yeah. if a nuke goes off a hundred miles away or I don't know how far it is where you're not oh, yeah. dead. But oh, yeah. You need something to just be like, grab this. Let's fucking go. And mm-hmm. then oh, yeah. there is like some some cash or gold or whatever. And like a mine's full of weed, a gun, <laughs> weed, if you want, right. like cigarettes, anything right. like an a extra day, day's uh, underwear or socks. Oh, or, yeah. 
a pair of comfy shoes or or running shoes, depending on what you're currently wearing most of the time. Oh, yeah. Like, because if the shit goes down, you don't want to be in your fucking shorts and hey, dude, shoes. What the fuck are you talking about? I want to be comfortable. You want to be comfortable at first, but not when you have to walk 30 miles oh. and like. Oh, man. I right. Can, I can walk 30 miles with my hey, dudes. Uh, they'd they'd start eating at your feet i I saw i saw some something it's been a while ago it's probably been maybe a year ago but i saw this this new invention that was coming out that people were putting in a particular part of like their there it was outside but it was a ball it was a just a ball that you could fit four humans in and the ball had uh had the ability to be locked and it you had to lock it unlock it from the inside it was uh watertight it did have a way to where it would store air to where you could actually like be inside of that with four people for up to like three hours Mm -hmm. and can still survive and it, it was also impact resistant and it floated so in the worst possible scenario everybody on the inside of this thing had a pretty decent chance of survival and I just thought to myself, if the situation arrived that that needed to be used, I'm out, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. That's me I know how the uh, world is right now, and it's like, ah, it's not worth kicking around uh, you, a little you bit. You say that, though, but like the, the innate human desire to keep living kicks in. Oh, I'm sure. Flight or flight will definitely kick in, and I'll be like, God damn it, if I had one of them floating balls that were invented over in Japan, I'd be in a much better situation. Or if somebody but, was like, come get in my ball, you'd be like, fuck yeah, all right. Thanks, man. Thanks for having a ball. Yeah. That's so <laughs> fucking convenient. Thanks for having a ball. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having a floating ball. That would be cool if there was like an avalanche or something, if it was strong enough to protect oh, you yeah, it, it was, around there. It was it was rated for, for tsunamis and mudslides and all kinds of shit. Not it, volcanoes, I bet. Uh, well, yeah. Was, no, it's fine, guys. We're in the ball, yeah. and it just melts <laughs> no, it all just around melt, you. Yeah. Uh, but no, it looked like a pretty good invention. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to say overrated in, in my particular yep. situation. So. <laughs> That's uh, me and JP's answer, I think, right? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. oh yeah, big time. Yep. Uh, but that is overrated or underrated uh, for this week. I did want to talk about something that I I, I I forgot about at the very beginning of the show, and I wanted to talk about it because I I am I am so fucking changed over watching this this Discovery documentary over the weekend that uh, we me and my wife watched it together, and it was about a little person who was adopted to a family. They thought that she was, I think, six years old, and it turns out at the time she was like 13, and it became hmm. this huge hoopla because they didn't, the mother didn't want to deal with her, and so they were charged with abandoning a child. It was like the curious case of um, something with an N. I can't, I, I actually looked it up. Uh, Natalia Grace is, is what it's called, and it's on Discovery, <laughs> but they were charged and then uh, proven innocent for basically giving this this little person a an apartment where she had to walk upstairs and fend for herself because they thought she was 22 years old when she was actually like maybe 17 or 16 at the time but the thing that that drove me more nuts than the entire situation so wait was the, the 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 midget said it was <laughs> older than it was the midget said she was younger than what she really was. So she she was okay. adopted in Ukraine. They didn't know she was a midget. They oh, just no, they thought she was knew. a little girl. Oh, no, they knew. They knew, they yeah. knew that she had some kind of disa- so it disability. Was like the, it was like in Family Guy where they were like, those aren't orphans. Those are midgets. <laughs> and they're yeah, like making like that. drugs and shit. And yeah. they're all lying. But the, the thing, it wasn't necessarily, like that situation, yes, that's fucked up. But the thing that fucked with me the most was the dad. The dad's... Uh, like was the one who the the documentary was about was his reaction and him fighting the charges and stuff like that and you want to talk about the most over dramatic i'm selling being sad i'm selling being like taken advantage of it was the most like cringe worthy performance i've ever seen in my entire life i don't like the reason those shows exist is because people like you will hate watch them i will i did and then you inevitably buy one of the things that they advertise to you during the commercials and no oh dude whether you like it or not that's it gets into your brain discovery plus has no commercials sir 
Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, the, you're watching it on streaming. Oh, I'm streaming that. All right. Bitch. Well, but still, it, the, 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 everything else applies. Every, yeah, <laughs> but still, I, it, I did. I watched it with my eyes. Like, I was covering, and my wife yeah, was I just can't. laughing at me. Thank God we came back to oh, that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just saying, if to you what? if you want to see a what just he's talking about right terrible now. performance, I like it. You do. If you want to see mean, a terrible performance, go watch it. Go watch no. a curious case for no. Natalia Grace. It is horrendous. Yeah, I don't like stuff. It as a performer, as a person who writes original material, as for my living, the idea of reality shows in general are just ruined a bunch of shit. You know? Oh yeah. Like, and the fact that people are like, I don't like it. I just watch it because it's dumb. Yeah. And it's like, that's not fucking good for society and <laughs> yeah. shit. Why don't you watch something that's brilliant and wonderful? Yeah. Why don't you learn something but instead it was, of just watching somebody and being like, man, look how fucked up they are. It was right where I draw the line of, is it, do I watch it or do I just turn it off? And that's where I draw the line, which is why we move on to the next segment, which is that's where I draw the line. I knew that's what you're doing. I was just going to let you, I, I don't want to question a podcast prodigy. You goddamn right. Motherfuckers. That's right. We what move does the on. word prodigy mean? Exactly. It means a uh, dumbass. Apparently it, like it's like, great, he's going to be not great. Yet. Yeah. He's going to be great, but not quite yet. Uh, but yeah, we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. We had several suggestions from a couple of folks. This is JP's favorite part of every single episode. This Chase Golden guy, he's got another one. He's on got there. another one. Look yeah, that's right. Go. This is uh, this is another one. That's where I draw the line. Uh, we get scenarios and we get to decide where we fucking draw the line. Can't figure it out. Tack hammer time, baby. Uh, first one. This is from Chase Golden again. He wants to know how old does a song have to be before it is considered a classic. So <laughs> this really sucks. It does. Um, like K E Y N, the oldie station. Oh, that's what you're going to draw the line at. No, but check it out. I don't ever listen to the radio, but my car, when it went into the shop, uh -huh. I didn't want to pair my phone to the rental. Oh uh -huh, yeah. So I was listening to the radio for the first time in Jesus. I don't even know how long. Uh huh. So, <laughs> So the oldies station, the one my parents used to listen to, that I was like, what the fuck is this? The one that used to be like lollipop, yeah, lollipop, yeah, 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 yeah. Lollipop. leader of the pack. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Now has the same DJ on that used to be on when I was in high school on the popular KKRD <laughs> on the popular station. He is now at KEYN and playing all the music I grew up with. <laughs> so apparently I draw the line at... Right now. <laughs> <what it> <laughs> yeah. I draw I mean, my line out right now. The legit answer, I think, is 25 years, isn't it? Is it? Uh, I, I have mean, no idea. We're making this. We're we're drawing the line here. This is our you want, line. Man, yeah. Well, like when I you was You don't have in, to conform to everyone else's line, Mike. But you when can make I, your own. When I was in high school in the 90s, like 70s music was classic rock. Sure. So 70s and 80s by that logic, then now in the year 2023, then late 90s music is starting to be considered classic. He's I graduated high school in 1995. Yeah. yeah, uh -huh. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's right there. I, 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 I mean, it's crazy. I, I love it. I, I have the answer. Yeah. What? The answer is this. I have a niece, my brother's daughter, and it is now a it, it's it's a trend now to wear the band shirts yeah, right. of, of the, the, of the, the bands that I loved yeah. when I was in high school. Ah, so what have you seen? Like an Ace of Bass shirt or something? Oh, those are those are too far away. Ah. Ace of Bass. No, I'm talking like right now is My Chemical Romance, Blink-182. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Some 41, like all of that shit. And she's like, this is, this is the good Avril shit. Avril Lavigne. But I, I was a fan of I, all of those yeah. things that same, you just said. Yeah. Same, like, and I, and that's what I listen to when I have to listen to music in my truck because my wife doesn't want to listen to my podcasts. It's funny how all of a lot of those albums, there's like one or maybe two songs that I enjoy. And oh. now, like the albums that I listen to on a loop are ones that I like the entire album. You know. I but back I, then I would buy a CD. I would spend fifteen dollars on a brand new CD yeah. because I liked one song. Uh, yeah, but then you would fall. Wouldn't you fall in love with the others? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So so like Good Charlotte is a perfect example of that for me. 
I, I liked the entire. I mean, we were back in the day when we were burning CDs, right? We mm-hmm. would pick and choose the MP3 <clears throat> and put it all on a CD and burn the CD, and then that would be our what we were driving to yeah. for two weeks. God, man, those are fun memories. Good days, right? It's a weird, tiny part of our yeah. technological history. So so my draw the line is whenever the generation after you is wearing your T-shirts as trendy fashion statements, that's that's where I draw the line. All right. Okay, thank you, Chase, for your, your uh, what do you call it? terrible questions <laughs> your your awesome uh input uh next one that's i like this I'm guy's at. name uh this guy's from facebook from uh nolo cinco i bet that's not his real name definitely not uh, you never know i know <laughs> but he wants to know what is the maximum number of bathroom breaks a significant other can have on a road trip this is not would you like for them to have on a road tip trip this is how many can they have JP is holding up one. That's it. That's it. When we stop for gas, you take your piss or shit. Then otherwise go in a cup or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm stopping it's, once. It's nice. It's, I'm stopping once and it's for fucking gas and pissing. And that's it. It's nice for you because you're probably driving with a dude who can use a Gatorade bottle and it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, I'm with you though. Yeah. If we have to stop and fill up for fuel, then you go. Then. You go then. If you make me make an unnecessary stop, I am fucking irate, pissed. Because now I'm no longer making good time. I am now losing time that I could be doing what I want to do at the place I'm trying to get to. It's very Clark Griswold of you. 100%. Don't give a fuck. I it's just, that. it's something about me. I know it's a douchebaggy thing, but it is definitely a <laughs> most pet things about you, Most things about you are douchebaggy. Believe it or not, I'm a very nice human being. I, I just, do believe it. I do believe I it, should, man. You don't get a wife but like I get. still kind I'm of a really, douchebag. Sometimes, but it's just, that's one of the things. It's just one of the things you got to understand. And she knows and she feels terrible if she makes me stop. So yeah. that's why I've been married. Because you make her feel that way. For right. nine years. Piece of shit. God, happy anniversary again? to my wife. Yeah, All right. Nine years of marriage uh, to my wife. So, so yeah. we're, we're just saying once, Mike. Mike. Oh, no. Road trip. It, for one, it depends on who's who it is with you. If it's your spouse, long time person that's been with you forever, you can't. You have no right to complain about the way they do things after this amount of time because you knew that several years ago. That's why you so train you, them. Mike. So you're not allowed to be like, Ugh. but if as a single guy, like the people I travel with are comedians, 90 percent of the time sure. we're, we're sharing a car going somewhere else and riding on a road trip with strangers makes your body behave differently than it's used to. So sometimes you've got a shit and then 30 minutes later you're like i got a fucking shit again i'm sorry and you can't be you, you can't have the driver be like jesus christ dude like that doesn't help me get into the bathroom and evacuate everything so i won't have to stop again i don't know i'm just saying plus i, I have a 90 year old grandma so we've taken road trips <laughs> plenty of times where i'm <laughs> like you just tell me minutes. tell me the moment you need to stop and we'll we'll stop i never thought there would be an incorrect answer to one of these questions but guess what we but found you it you guys gave we it we found it all right thank you nolo Cinco. uh next one <laughs> from twitter up ass name <laughs> next one from twitter this is from Devin mcdonald he wants to know what is the age you need to stop asking for your parents for money? <laughs> no age. Yeah, if they're uh, alive. I'm going to say if they're alive and they've got money, I say ask them. Yeah, if they're alive yeah. and healthy and and you have a good relationship with them, then there's no end to that. I agree. <sighs> I agree. Like that's what, and they should have the like there. It's not just free money. Like they should have something over you to be like. You know, you know that I've done a lot. Like, you need to have that feeling of like, thank you so much. Not just like, I'm going to call my parents and get money. Like, that's a different feeling, I think, where you're just like, mom, I need a thousand dollars or I'm out on the street. And she's like, baby, don't you worry. 
<laughs> you can pay here's me back thousand, no interest. Here's a thousand yeah. and twelve. <laughs> right. Go buy Get yourself, yourself some, some taco nice. Bell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll break character You're here really short because it's a it's it's actually like a it's a defining part of my life. I guess I, I whenever I moved out of the out of my parents' house, uh, uh, I was very much out of my own, and I I did it later. I was like twenty years old. Um, I moved out on on my own. And I uh, met my fiance. Yeah, me too. I was out of the house by the time I was 20. I moved out when I was 18, moved downtown across a bar. I figured out that was a bad idea. And my mom came down with cancer. So I actually moved home to take care of her, then moved back out. Long story short, found my fiance, who's my wife now, moved into a house. And there was one month where we knew going into the end of that month that we would not be able to afford bills in a tiny shitty house in the middle of the ghetto in Wichita, Kansas. And I had not asked my parents for money since I moved out. Not one time. And I called my mom uh, and I cried over the phone to my mother. And I said, I am legitimately in such a bad spot. Can I ask you to borrow you money? She was expecting me to ask for thousands of dollars. And I said, mom, I'm $150 short. Would you be able to spot me $150? My mom then ended up crying because she was fearing the worst and thought of me so highly because I was in a, she knew I was in a bad spot. It mm -hmm. was an emergency situation and it was legitimately money that she could have burned. Right. And that is how you want to appear to your parents in that situation. If you go and ask multiple times, it becomes you're a nuisance. If you do it whenever you're really struggling, then I think that's obviously okay as long as you need to. Yeah. So that is my actual serious break character, not asshole, but real true story. So you that's have a me. character? Yeah, he's yeah. not really a douchebag. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're trying to fool what? with this prodigy bullshit. JP was going to chime in and say something, and he looked at me with that like look of like, I'm going to fucking ruin this story. <laughs> and I was like, don't. Yeah, no, it, no, it's a true story, Let and him. it's serious. It, but yeah, parents are amazing, amazing people, but don't take advantage of them. That's no bullshit. But the answer is... As long as you need it, they they that's what they're there for. But your responsibility is whenever they're old yeah. and they need you, yep. don't be a fucking prick and take care of them. That's your job. Yeah, so, I saw a thing on Facebook the other day. I don't know where the dude was from, but he was like, my mom's in Delaware or whatever, and she's in hospice and this and that. And somebody was like, go see her. And he's like, I have no way of getting there. And it's like, dude, if you're in America, you have a fucking way to get there. you got a way to get there. Like Greyhound yeah. that shit. That's like, right. Go see your mom. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So sorry, but that is a true story and it's not funny, but it's true. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Next one. Uh, where do you draw the line? How long should it take a parent to remove a screaming child from one a minute. public setting? Let me finish the question. God damn it. How long should it take a parent to remove a screaming child from a public setting? 60 seconds. That's how long you got. I think it depends on several factors. You are giving that child, that, that parent, way too much leeway. Nah. No, 60 seconds. I start my countdown at 60, and then if I get to zero and you still haven't left, I punch your, chi your, your kid. Asshole Scotty's back. Here we go. You say 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Less than that. There even. is nothing more frustrating than a, a like being in a public space in a restaurant in anywhere where there is a screaming child. The movie theaters that put crying rooms in movie theaters, I fucking hate you because you are just inviting parents to bring their kids to a movie theater. Absolutely not. If the child starts losing his shit, you are the parent, you are the responsible one for that kid. And don't give me this bullshit, oh, well, they're too young, they're a baby, they don't know any better, I don't care, they don't, you do. Get it the fuck out of here until it calms down, then you can bring it back in. That's my answer. Depends, Immediately. Depends on the age of the kid. At some, at a certain age, oh. you reacting to his tantrum is just fueling the fire for future tantrums. Like sometimes this group that I'm in front of now is going to have to suffer a little bit so that other future groups won't have to suffer at all. 
And I'm teaching my kid that, no, dude, you can fucking scream and lay there on the floor like an idiot. You're not getting the thing that you're asking for. Oh. And I'm not going to, like, take you on a separate little journey here with me and re reward you with a fun journey with your dad. What, I'm just going to look at you like you're an idiot. And then you'll have that feeling of, like, all right, well, screaming and crying obviously doesn't get me the thing that I want. So I'm going to learn new ways to behave. Two incorrect answers in one show. Never thought it. Dude, as 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 I a told guy you we with, should stop having him on. As a guy with <laughs> as a guy with no pets and no kids, I can fucking tell you how you need to raise <laughs> animals and children. Smart. I, my mother never ever like beat me in public, but she would take me out to the car and she would sit there with me and and I could do whatever I wanted to do and she made me I mean, I I did not act up in public very often and when i did that was worse was going and sitting in the car so no bueno all right uh next one last one where do you draw the line what is the minimum amount of time you should wait before telling the person you are dating that you love them minimum minimum amount of time no minimum no minimum sometimes you just know the yeah, day of I agree. oh for sure oh i would say it, it jokingly but then if they were like, I kind of feel the same way, I'd be like, fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> me and you, boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. God. If it helps me to fuck you, I'll tell you whatever you want to hear. I, I won't lie and say it, but no, I mean, I'll lie. mean it. I've legit felt that way around somebody. I've talked to somebody for like an hour before hey. and been like, Jesus, I'd love to hey. fucking. Huh? I love you too, man. I don't. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> oh, I don't, God damn it. I don't want to get. This, Son of a bitch. I was so close. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that you were, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> now this, what's yours scotty like a year and this is why yeah, i'm the only one in stupid. here that's married <laughs> and taken how long did you i think wait? i think your wife must not be all right in the head was your first i love around. you yeah. and i love you too or and i love you uh the very first the very first time that i told her that i loved her uh was when we became exclusive we were talking for probably four to six months but I was afraid of commitment because I didn't want to, I, I wanted to, you know, live out my twenties and have a hose. Real, which uh, I could never do. You guys can see me. It's not like I'm a fucking pro <laughs> prodigy by the look of I'm it. I'm not either, but I still bone hose. <laughs> but, uh, I knew that I had a good one. And so when she went on a trip and I went on a trip, she was having a good time. I was having a good time and I didn't want to tell her over the phone, but whenever we got back, I was like, that was the least amount of fun I've had in a long time because you weren't there. I love you. And I, I want us to be officially together. And this is, that's, that's that. And then she was like, you're moving way too fast for me. No, she moved in the very same day that we told each other that wow. and we've been together ever since. And I think I could count on one hand, the number of nights that we've been not together. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, it's a strong bond. Well, happy anniversary. Nine years, baby. Nine whatever. years, nine years married, but I made her wait a while before I actually did it. So we've been together, I think for 14 years. Wow. So, happy anniversary, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, how about, how about you guys? What's your answer? I already gave it. Oh yeah, that's right. So uh, I'm, I'm the only one giving actual behind, advice buddy. of where you draw the line. Yep. That's why listen to me and not them. Uh, but that's where you draw the line for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. That's where the drum beats come in. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, we actually do have a question from uh, somebody from Instagram. Uh, first question for this week. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember, Monday Funday, laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or Twitter. I'll post that up. You guys send us your suggestions uh, every Monday, and we'll pick the ones we like. Uh, so, anyways, first one from Instagram is Derek, I believe. Hold on. Derek Blizzinger. Oh, no, that's not right. Blingen oh. Blinzinger. 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 Sorry, I fucked that up really bad. Derek Blinzinger. He zings bling he all around. He sings bling, man. That's pretty solid. Uh, he wants to know, what's the first thing you would do if you had fuck you money? Um, I wouldn't do anything funny first. The first thing I would do is buy the house that I grew up in when I was a kid. Oh, that's from, sentimental. From the age of like birth until 18 or something. And rent it out to a bunch of meth heads? Yep. Okay, that's no, good. No, I would fucking, <laughs> I would just own it. You know, I would let like a friend live there oh. who probably would end up doing meth. I'm sure. Based on the neighbors and stuff. And the comedian it, friends that you have. Uh -huh, yeah. Mm, yeah. No, not a big meth guy. But oh, that's okay. No, but as far as like, like uh, showing off or whatever, 
I would buy something really fancy like a, a souped up 1986 Ford Ranger. <laughs> no shit. That's what was the, my first vehicle. I'm very nostalgic I get about it. money. I get it. And no, I know I'm, there's like an unused Ford 86 Ford Ranger sitting in a garage somewhere. somewhere. Oh, yeah. You're right. And, and you know what? It's not a bad pick there, buddy. It lasted me uh, like 186,000 miles or something. I uh, just saw one the other day. It was 90s, but uh, people take care of them and they hold their value. That's They're they're great little trucks. I left it in South Beloy, Wisconsin because oh, the, the drive there. shaft fell off oh yuck while i was driving what about you jp what are you what are you spending your fuck you money on so i looked up this Derek Bleenzinger guy yeah, yeah. and uh i would fuck him <laughs> oh, <God>. I, <laughs> I would say blizzinger the first yeah the first thing that i would do if i had fuck you money Derek, is fuck you <laughs> oh, uh, i wonder how much it would cost i don't know but I everybody has a number everybody's got a number i don't care you could be the guy saying oh, i wouldn't fuck you for a million dollars you're a fucking liar <laughs> yeah but if i had a briefcase yeah if i had a briefcase full of a million dollars right here right now we're fucking yeah, I would let you literally do, other than like cutting parts off of my yeah, body, I would I let totally you do anything yeah. for $1 million. For sure. Because I'd pay you're not every, stupid. I'd pay every debt that I have. That A million dollars for me would be fuck you money. Yeah, That's all so, I need to buy the house that I grew up in and, yeah. and my old, old truck. It would be that or buy a midget. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> both. A midget that you could fuck. You never know. It's make, a win-win situation. Make sure he's not lying about his age. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Be he's careful. like, no, I'm 25. I swear. And you're like, wait a minute. And it turns out it's it's a it's a young midget that you're gonna have to abandon. <laughs> basically, uh, no, I'm buying a boat. I'm buying a yacht. A big motherfucking yacht. That's that's the very first thing I'm buying. I'm terrified of the ocean. So what do you buy? Buy something that'll float on uh, water because I'm not afraid of it if I'm on. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, that just sounds like work to me. Uh, it's that, like, hey, why don't you buy an office building God, and fuck and you, money? Keep that's all the I'm employees got. happy and be like, dude, I don't want to fucking do that. They're like, you can hang out in it. I want. I take. <laughs> that I don't back. want to. I, I don't want to own a restaurant that lives on the water. Uh, and have to like pay people to live there all summer long. I just now, I just, I just actually, I'm not. I don't want a yacht. I Thank take that you. back. I'm glad. I want to pay to have Derek be a Canadian citizen and move him there, so he never so has he to never come back. back. Fuck you, dog. That would, that would be yeah. a, a clever. <laughs> And Derek I'm gonna need be a like, new bowling team member, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll find someone. I'll, I'll play. I'll bowl, it. dude. I, absolutely. Right. Can you smoke cigarettes inside at the bowling alley? No, oh, not fucking. anymore. Are you kidding? I have fuck you money. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yes, that's you true. can. I, so guess. I would absolutely. buy a bowling alley and I would smoke, smoke in, in it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All right, uh, so next question. <laughs> God We're all canceled. <laughs> We're all fucked now. This is a comedy show, by the way. Dark humor is encouraged. Uh, first, our next question is, rejected names for a special needs school. So I got a couple. So I'm sure you do. Uh, the first one is called Weetards. <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> It's, it's a school, and Nintendo Wii is sponsored. <laughs> that's good, yeah. The school yeah, it's called Wii Tarts. Always good. Uh, and then the other one is called Look What I Can Do. <laughs> and then I just do the things that they can't, and they just sit there and watch me. God damn it. Oh, mine's called Helmet and Hot Wheels. That's it. You guys are mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mine. Look what I can do. <laughs> That's right. Mine was Mike Baldwin's school for special needs. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why you guys got to be dicks to yeah, these people. That's a good one, man. Oh, God. Right. Angel people. Well, that went actually better than I expected. Toddler tards was my yeah. next one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, my bad. I think uh, schools will just become schools for special needs kids based on the numbers that we're getting right now i don't care what it would be called i just want it to be misspelled that's what i want it to be the c's the c and special is backwards, <laughs> it's backwards. yeah it just looks like school s-p-e-s-h-i-a-l <laughs> special special needs. s-k-o-o-l yes yeah. that's what i want where do you go special school special school <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> spelled incorrectly. That's kind of funny. I like it. Yep, yeah, that's that's my answer. 
<laughs> All right, next one. What's a dating website for people who were adopted? Fuckyourbrother.com. <laughs> oh, fuck. I you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. I won't leave you.com. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe get <laughs> what? Maybe stop with the buttons. No, you maybe get, I, I like you're a little that. button happy today. I am button happy today. As okay. as someone who was adopted, um, I don't find this humorous at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have two lovable parents that love me. Oh, that's good. I'm not one of those pieces of shit. <laughs> but okay. my parents are dead, so I guess everybody <laughs> loses here. Everybody does lose. <laughs> I love you even if your real parents don't dot com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, I pushed the button for you, JP. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. You I don't it. know how I feel about adopted dating. I don't know that I've, I don't think I've ever dated a girl that was adopted. Have you guys? Guy or oh, girl? Or? Yeah. Really? Oh, it's not a, it, it was not a good situation because of I the had. adopting oh, I did, I, or uh, it, the, yeah, they, it was definitely connected. They, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never have yeah. either for a year, dude, for a fucking year. I, I, it was, it was daddy issues on fucking roids. Man. And then when you finally broke up, was she like, <laughs> you're just leaving like everybody else. Oh no, I had to, I, I, this was man. I had to somewhat kind of still be there to help her with the process. It was mm. dude. It was so you say daddy up. issues. Like that's a bad thing. If it wasn't for daddy issues, I would never get laid. Oh no, I understand that. But <laughs> like uncle this, issues or this, some, something, some no. kind of yeah. sad issue yeah. in the, your the, early childhood. Uh, no, this, 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 this was unhealthy. This was so unhealthy. I, I stuck around enough for where the other guy that was taking over just to make sure that, you know, everything was going to be okay. It was, it was weird. It was bad. It was ne never again, never again. So yeah, that's that. My wife is adopted. Uh, you're not married. <laughs> she doesn't know that. That's why she's not there. Uh, next one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, next one. Names for roller coasters for the new emo theme park. I have one. What do you call it? Let's just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> so that goes along with what I was thinking. I don't have a name for it, but all I know is the roller coaster has no humps. No, it's just one flat track that you go down for about a quarter of a mile and then you go back and that's it. Oh, I would wow. I would actually ride that. Yeah. I would like it to do a loop and then nope. come back. No, nope, it's cuz I don't want to go I don't want to travel backwards. Too fucking bad. That's not fun for me. I don't like backwards and I don't like horizontal spinning. Ooh, wow. I, I can do vertical spinning. I can do a loop on a roller coaster. I can't do that shit where the floor drops out and you stick to the wall. It makes me sick, dude. Oh. My my roller coaster name would be a lot of things. I got a lot of names. Let's hear them. Paper cuts, pocket knives. But does the <laughs> is the roller coaster affected by these names, or that's just what a roller coaster is called? Oh, this is what the roller coaster is called. They get worse uh, across the street and not down the stream. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty dark. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Anyways, those are mine. Uh, everybody answer. Yep. Did everybody answer? Thank God. And last question for this week is, because Coca-Cola polar bears were such a huge success, what dangerous animal would you associate with a new trendy food or beverage? You grabbed your Dr. Pepper. I thought you were about to. I did too. I was sitting here going, what is he thinking? <clears throat> what animal? Yeah, what animal <laughs> and food? Let's think of a good animal food <laughs> combination. Oh, you don't have to make them like be alike. Like polar bears and Coca-Cola, really? What well, those go together. Oh, of course they do. Well, they now. do. Yeah. Polar bears love Coca-Cola. Yeah. Everybody I, knows that. I think it's kind of funny that, pol that okay, Coca-Cola made polar bears look so damn innocent because they associated with Coca-Cola. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do guacamole and hippopotamuses. Well, that makes sense. That's what I'm going to do. And you that, would need a lot of guac, though, yeah, to satisfy a hippo. You sure would, man. But a, you know what? A they polar like bear them. just wants one can of Coke. <laughs> That's it. They and just, it's it's kind of funny that all of the that Coke's color is red and the polar bear is white. And if you saw a polar bear in real life, it would just be covered in blood. It would. <laughs> but they never mix those in the Coca-Cola ads. They don't. I they would like to don't. see somebody do a version of that, but 
No, I mean anything. Like I, I'm looking at one of those pocky chips. Oh yeah, those spicy ass things. I would like to see like a koala bear. Oh, one hundred percent. Sell those. Oh yes, and that's... eat one because oh, I don't know for if sure. there's some animal and it's probably not koala bears, but they don't have like the receptors on their tongue to oh. like notice spicy things. Oh jeez. I, I would love I would love to see that. I've seen dogs try to eat lemons and limes. That's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. I used to oh. give pickles to my dog because it would just catch anything that you threw <laughs> in the air. Like, and it would, yeah, it would have a pickle in its mouth for less than a millisecond and then nah, spit it out and Absolutely. do that weird, fun, chompy noise. They've done this with so many, like so much shit, like Cheetos is I would, with, yeah. a, with a Cheetah. I would say that kind of, Wolverine. The oh, animal yeah, or Wolverine, the guy? So beef stroganoff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. I've always, that's, that always kind of bothered me that there's not just generic advertisements for different recipes. Okay. People are always like, come to our restaurant and get our thing or whatever. But there, I would like to see a commercial that's just like, make spaghetti tonight. Like a Wolverine. <laughs> but no brand or anything. Yeah. yeah. Just like, get the stuff, make yourself some spaghetti for you and your family. And then there's a Wolverine there in a cage just fucking going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> because That's it stu- wants the spaghetti. Uh-huh, yes. Yeah. And they're like, no, uh you're a Wolverine. All right. Stay in your fucking cage. I got it. Sharks and weed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make commercials with sharks smoking weed, and they just be chill as fuck. And then people go out on a boat and see shark man i think you're talking about let's go roll with the shark i think you're talking about finding nemo (laughs) yeah exactly bruce bruce is just hired and shit yeah he is dude absolutely god bless that guy god bless that i don't want to smoke weed with sharks i wouldn't want to. i would smoke weed with a koala bear though (laughs) i'm sure anybody would man uh, anyways, that is questions and preguntas for this week's episode. You can send your suggestions to the Monday Fun Day post that I send out uh, now every Monday. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And, uh, of course, Jeremy Joseph won. Yeah. Because he guy's fucking unbeatable, cheats. man. He's just, he's just. He's just that fucking cool. He's just so good, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but uh, because uh, Jeremy Joseph is not here this week, JP gets the win on a technicality. There you go. Technically, that's two in a row for me, though. Yeah, it kind of is. You're on a little bit of a, on a streak. streak. You are a skid mark in somebody's drawers. God, I wish. Uh, yes. Funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think I, I think I got beat by the uh, the likes in this particular draft. Uh, there were more votes for, for um, I don't know, something really, really awful than votes for me. So I'm going to get the sandwich picks because Mike was not here, so he got zero votes. And so uh, that means you get the first pick for this week's draft. I go, Mike, uh, I'm very excited about this draft. This week's draft is going to be our favorite video game consoles of all time. The best video game consoles of all time. Oh, that man. is the draft. And I get to go first. And you get the number one pick. Oh, Mike, shit. kick it off. Super Nintendo. You Ugh. fucker. I mean that's that's yeah. my classic one. I I had the regular Nintendo before that, but Super hey, Nintendo. Hey, hey, don't give away your picks. You might remind somebody for something that they. Want. I'm not reminding anyone of original Nintendo. That's oh, every, in everybody's mind right son now. Son of but, a bitch. But Super Nintendo was the first one for me that I spent fucking over. You know, watch the sun come up, trying to beat Zelda and that kind of shit. Playing video games with like Game Pro magazines and like big like uh, whatever they were called like the books that came with big games that you could buy at like the nintendo bookstore. power well nintendo power was a magazine yeah. but i mean they had like a final fantasy book, book that yeah. like gave you every little oh man good memories if uh if you didn't have the super nintendo though it all started with the regular original NES. And that's your That's answer? my pick. Okay. Because you- that was the beginning of everything. That's where Super Mario came from. That's where Zelda. That was the golden cartridge yeah. Zelda. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember. 
that was where yeah, so much started. So I'm going to go with the regular NES. JP, you get two in a row, buddy. Don't fuck it man, up. Man, that's crazy. You guys took my best ones. I know like, because my those, most are, those are the, ones. Those are yeah. the best picks, yeah. I think. I'm going to go with the Sega Genesis. Okay, you can nice. have that one. That's uh, a good pick. Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic was. And yep. man, when it came out, it was a big deal. It was a uh, big fucking deal. Yep. And uh, the other one. Fight. Did you ever play Final no, Fight? Yeah. With Cody, not, not only that, but the Sega Genesis was also the groundbreaker for uh, a very uh, a game that's still made today. Actually, comes out. It it may have just came out. Can you name it? There were parents that were pissed off because of how much blood was actually in the game. Uh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, they did yeah. just come out with a new one. That's right. Yeah. Have yeah. you watched those movies that uh, I watched the, <laughs> the first ones that one. were awful? No, the the ones made in the last two or three years oh, that are kind of dope. Kind of, uh, yeah. I yeah. like, I like the. Anyway, whatever. Uh, anyway, anyway uh, yeah. But JP, your second pick is going to be what? And my second pick is going to be something that you're going to have to look up. I'm sure. But it was called Intellivision. Oh my god! That was like one of the original video games. Yeah. Oh. And uh, my grandparents had one. Really? And we would go whenever we went to Topeka to go to my grandparents' house. I would be so fucking stoked because I got to play the Intellivision. Oh my! Yeah, it's old, but it's fucking pivotal. I I am so happy you picked that so early because nobody was gonna pick that at all. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't worry about what you're gonna pick. I got the one that I wanted. I, I think an on if honest to God, my favorite video game console that I've ever had was Nintendo sixty four. Yeah, and I did never get it, into the sixty four. Dude, all. It, without Nintendo sixty four, we would probably not have the same single person shooters if we didn't have GoldenEye. And GoldenEye was supposed to be kind of a a, a shit game, a kick to the side because it was supposed to be for a movie, which are always bad. Mm -hmm. But that was groundbreaking, and it had Mario sixty four, Mario Kart sixty four, just so many excellent games. Yeah, that's where Mario Kart came. That was good. Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. was that sixty four? Yeah, sixty four. Yeah, it was, yeah. It, it was such a groundbreaking breaking console. So I'm gonna pick Nintendo okay. sixty four. Great, Mike, you get two in a row. Um. <clears throat> all right. I'm trying to decide which number affected me the most. Uh oh. And I think I'm gonna have to say PlayStation Three. Okay. Oh man. Okay. And then you get another one. Game Boy. You have it. Oh, buddy. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is. A good one. Scotty's just going, yes, he didn't pick the one I wanted to pick. I mean, As he looks everything up on his phone yes, because he can't but, fucking have an original thought. No, because I also want to check and make sure. Yeah, what a loser. What a fuck. I'm not going to pick anything I didn't have. Uh, well, And I, I got three picks yet. And, and I think um, the PlayStation 3 was, was great. I, I think it was great. Dude, don't do it. But I'm going to take the PS5, baby. All right. uh, okay, that's PS5. That. PS5 is the only game system I've ever heard of to where you wanted to spend a thousand dollars to buy one and still couldn't fucking find one. So I think, uh, yeah, and and you you just carry around the remote control everywhere you go and you end up with orgies. That's just what happens. You get is all it? kinds of puss. Oh yeah, you weren't here for that story. But I wasn't. It I'm was just... amazing. But yes, you just carry it around. Instant threesome. That's just what happens. All Boom. right. So I'm going to go with PS5 as my third pick. JP, you get two in a row. Uh, let's go with the Xbox One. Okay. Because okay. that's the one I play the most. Yeah. Yep. Love my Xbox. You yep. still play X? Oh, Xbox One is the newer. The new one. Oh, ah, okay. No, the new one is Series X. Oh. What? I don't have one of those yet. Oh, oh you, you're talking about just the original Xbox. No, no. That's, that's the 360. First there was Xbox. No, there was then Xbox, there was then there was 360. And then there was Xbox One. Oh, yeah, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's right, the PS3 right. of Xboxes. Yes. No PS4. Because mm. now they have the 5. Okay. Okay. The Xbox One was the very last one before this, the newest. Well, one. I know, but they had you so. had PlayStation One, PS Two, PS Three, PS Four. You had Xbox, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, Xbox One was the third only, one, and there's only four of those, right? Though, so, so it doesn't matter. It's yeah. Xbox Three. Sure. Anyway, Xbox anyway. <laughs> One. Okay. Uh, and then, um, uh, I'm getting into my good picks now. I'm gonna go with. Come on. I'm going to 
go with the GameCube. Oh God, GameCube. <laughs> a lot of people hated it. A lot of people was, thought it was. Was that a Nintendo? It was a Nintendo. Wait, it was Nintendo. It was, it was after the. It was after the sixty four. It's right around the one where I'm like, I I, I have a, a, like an honorable mention that I'm not going to pick, and I don't want to give it away yet. But let me tell you something about the GameCube. They actually did a test when the GameCube was out with with uh, the GameCube, the Xbox, and the PlayStation, and they they were like trying to find something that the GameCube could win at. It was nothing. It was not very good. However, the only thing that the GameCube won at was which one would still work if you threw it off a fucking Dude, building that thing was <laughs> indestructible and that's why i took my game cube <laughs> everywhere yeah i know man like, oh that's so i gotta go shit. with it man i get it i totally understand and, and some people are partial to it and that's perfectly fine and i'm i'm so excited that you that you picked the the game boy over there mike because there was something that i was superior to every game boy player and that was i had the sega game gear oh i that, remember that that was the colored screen yeah, absolutely and you guys had four batteries. Hey, I, uh, hold on. Uh -huh. Screen of color. Yes, yeah, screen of color. Sorry. My God. Sorry. It was an oh. SOC. My bad. Um, but it actually had a colored screen, and it had six batteries to your Game Boy's four. However, your Game Boy's would last for days on four batteries. Mine would last about four and a half hours because <laughs> it was a fucking, it was a screen that had color. But it was the bomb. I still have it. And uh, yeah, I'm that's I love that thing. Have it you turned great. it on in the last year or so? Oh, yeah, played it's, a game. It still Are works. they pathetic now or? Oh no, it, it's still so nostalgic for me. So Sonic Two came out on the Game Gear, mm. so and I have that. I feel like I had a Game Gear. I don't remember what I played on it, but oh yeah, it was so great. I'm not gonna pick it, but you remember they right after the Game Gear, they came out with the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, fucker, that was the one I was gonna talk about. <laughs> you could. You could Pair your Game Gear with the Dreamcast. I did and not know. Play that. your Game Gear stuff on your fucking TV. You gave it away. That was my yeah. own. But anyway, Mike might pick it. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Mike, you get two in a row. These are your last two picks. Oh, uh, based on what I play the most right now, I'm sure you're going to go ahead and take it. So take the one that you play the most. Nintendo Switch. That's the one I knew. I figured you would take that way earlier. I was scared. I was me. banking on you guys not, not having one. Yeah, I know. I um, don't have one, but. Let's think. For my last pick, I've got a few mm -hmm. that I that I used in my life. Uh, one of which I'm not going to pick was the Sega CD. Yeah, which attached to the Sega Genesis. The Sega Saturn. I found out yeah. about those today, by the way. I bought it from a pawn shop in the box still for I don't remember the amounts, but let's say like a hundred dollars. It was probably worth three hundred dollars. At the time, I kept it for a year and a half, put it back in the box, took it to Walmart, and got a full refund. <laughs> this was back when you could still do such things. Um, Don't give away your honorable mentions, though. Nobody's picking fucking Sega CD. <laughs> you never know, dog. All right, my final pick. Your final pick. I kind of want to be a dick about it. Don't do it. Um... Can I just say my phone? No. 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 That it's gotta it's be, not a video it's not game a console. console. It's not a console. All right. I'm glad. You gotta actually have a console. <sighs> Nintendo, Super Nintendo. There's a, there's what else did I play? Oh, come on. You're old enough. Oh, Go I'm back to those, you know. Do I? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, there's, I, there's, there's at least, there's 50 of these out there. Well, yeah, I have so a. Many. I'm looking at a list of thirty right now. I'm <laughs> I like, know. I don't remember playing any of these. Oh, dude, there, there's tons of these. I mean, I guess I can just go total old school. Okay, Atari. All right, that's that's probably the good pick, the smart pick. But you know, that's just you. Let's get those forty-five and up votes. <sighs> okay, I did not personally have one of these. But I went over to the guy's house that had one in order for us to just sit there and play Wii Bowling all oh, yeah. fucking day long. I'm going to take you the son fucking of a Wii. Bitch. Yeah, I oh, got it. I never sure. played the Wii. I, oh, I mean, I, I think I played somebody else's once, but that was one of them. I skipped that 
generation uh, for my uh, own ownership, you in, know? In my opinion, all of the other games were pretty much shit. It even had a Zelda one that yeah. was, in my opinion, pretty much what shit. What was that, the Wind Waker or something? I don't even remember. I don't remember either. All I remember is we could legitimately go over, start playing Wii Bowling anything, and we would be entertained for fucking hours. Hmm. So it's it's a classic. It's funny to think about, like, how often I was getting laid at certain points in my life versus what video game systems I own. <laughs> yeah. And, good. and I think during the Wii years I was getting some puss. Uh, good for you, buddy. Thanks. Uh, and JP, your last pick. So since you took the Wii I did. right out from under me, I did. I'm going to go with the Atari 2600. Okay. The Atari 2600. Wait, that, how that, is what, that what, different what, than what I said? Than the Atari? I picked okay. Atari. It covers it's, Atari. No, it does not. It absolutely that's being does. Like, no, that's like saying Nintendo covers Nintendo or PlayStation covers PlayStation. It doesn't. Okay. All right. It definitely does not. But so then what did I pick when I said Atari? I don't know. You, you fucking picked the original, picked the original Atari. You picked the original. I, did I, I feel like I picked the most popular thing. And that, that would be it. People play I, Pong I, on and that's shit. That's Atari. That's, that's the Atari. first one. Yeah, that's the first one. I think you got I'm the better pick. I'm picking a better one. I think you got the better pick, Mike. No. I do. I it's like because it. you never had a, a, a there was not, one. Not many people did. No, a lot of people did. Not the 2600. Yes. Dude, oh. there was only one place in town that you could get games. Oh, really? Where was it? It was clear out by Goddard, and I lived in Rose Hill. Oh, So fuck. we would fucking go, like, my dad, okay, pile up in the van, everybody. We're going to the game store out west, to, and we'd go drive 45 minutes almost and fucking get a pick out. And, dude, but the Atari 2600 was probably the, the most ingenious fucking system dude they were the ones that started it all in my opinion uh, okay you have to you have to fucking research I, it i will i will but it was a great are you sure have you console. heard of intellivision <laughs> yeah, i have i think they were the original yeah, yeah they were a good one too so do you obviously the honorable mention that was already mentioned the sega dreamcast was uh the one that i was thinking of but the Dreamcast was so crazy because it was so good with sports games. Dude, it, it didn't last very long either. It didn't. It was like... Because it came out, if I remember correctly, it was right around the Nin Nintendo 64, and it had yeah, discs it and stuff. Yeah, it, and was, it did not last it long. It did not last long. And that's, I think, if and I remember... that, it didn't make the, a lot that, for it. It didn't. And it was a downfall of Sega was right, was right then and there. Was that the, around the Sega Saturn time also? That was the one yes. that I was waiting. The Sega yep. Saturn was one I actually had. Mm -hmm. But the thing was... was out of all of the games that you could buy for the Sega Saturn, there really weren't very many good ones, except for Virtual Fighter 2 was there was an a arcade racing game, game that it came with Daytona that was USA dope. or Daytona Fi the Daytona 500 was great yeah. I just but, remember like a something flying around in like a uh, that was something nights I yeah. know what you're talking about and the demo came with it that was during my, the acid portion of my life I'm sure it was I remember because that. that would have been a great game to play on acid and we they had like a I remember it was one of the first screensavers on a video game I just remember the loading screens took for fucking ever. I remember watching the screensaver on acid yeah. for a really long time. <laughs> Believe it. Nobody picked the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, which kind of shocks the shit out of me because that was groundbreaking all in itself. That was the first successful. I'm not a PlayStation guy. I, I love PlayStation, but I never had one, so I couldn't pick it. If I, I were to one. pick, though, if I were to pick the best PlayStation out of all of them, uh, it's the newest, best one. I mean, other than the newest and best one, I, I would still say, um, fuck, man, the two was great. Yeah. Really good. The two was great. I remember the it first time really I good. saw the two being played. Uh, Grand Theft like, Auto. Grand Theft Auto was on that ground. Do you game. have, I know you have a PlayStation 5. Do you have an old PlayStation system also that you don't use? I sold my PS4. My PS2 is somewhere. Mm. Yeah. I need uh, a PS3 maybe dropped out of the back of my truck when I was moving. Okay. So, but it still worked. I just don't know where they are. How about PSP? Uh, PSP was a good handheld yeah. system. That's, I think, the best handheld since, system since, like, you yeah. got the Switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And I don't take my Switch anywhere. Yeah. I only play it at home. <laughs> no, I don't. And I think now that we have phones that can easily play anything now, yeah. it doesn't benefit you to take a video game system that, that that's that size. But man, when I had the Game Gear, when I was six years old, there was no me losing my shit in a public place 
because I, just ha- fucking I fucking had the Game shit. Gear, man. The Game Gear, if you don't know what that is, look that shit up. It was even in a movie called Surf Ninjas that I was ex- I was so obsessed with when I was a kid. And he's, he's smiling because he knows what shit I'm talking about. I was obsessed with The Wizard when I was a kid, yeah, was a which is another Nintendo movie. Oh, gotcha. With a retarded kid where he's like, California. You can't yeah. say retarded. Yeah. You got to say tarred. Oh, sorry. The tarted kid. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, by the way, Rob Schneider's first m- big movie was Surf Ninjas. Surf Ninjas, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, oh, guys, great. you can go to Facebook.com uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines or Twitter, which is at L-O-T Sidelines, and vote for the list of your favorite video game consoles, and whoever wins gets a pat on the back, and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Fuck everyone. That's pretty Nobody much. Nobody wants to sponsor. You got a us. product? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. We don't give a we shit don't about. We care it. about your fucking product. Uh, I do have some some sponsors in the mix that I'm contacting that might be interested, but uh, <laughs> they may not want to. I need a <laughs> one of them anal ease because no, oh, <laughs> no. Damn. I want I could use a some special needs school. <laughs> Mister Fister even turned us down. Damn, it's so that's bad. not good. It's pretty bad when you don't get canceled, but can't get. Spo- no, can't I'm just kidding. We're, I, I we're a, fine. We're I need fine. a personal sponsor. I want. I know. I want someone to give me money, and then whenever <laughs> I do comedy, when the MC introduce me, yeah. like JP, what's your last name? I don't have. That's that, I didn't. That, I wasn't that, sure. That but whenever, uh, if I was to sponsor you, whenever the MC would bring you on stage, they would say, Mike Baldwin presents JP. Yeah. Right? Right. So whoever sponsors me, I'll tell every host. And hopefully it's somebody like, I would love to hear a host be like, ladies and gentlemen, Mountain Dew presents yeah. Mike Baldwin. <laughs> yeah. Mountain, I just get like a million dollars a show. Mountain yeah. Dew Baja Blast. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what it is. I would literally let anything sponsor me. Fair enough. Uh, yes, but this week's, uh, or this is this week's laughing on the sidelines uh, shitty situation. It is, would you rather doomsday come and you not be prepared? <laughs> or anytime you go into a public place, you're right next to a screaming kid whose parents don't give a shit. Oh, that's kind of every that's time, tougher than you every think. Forever? time, forever, forever, dog. This is a this is a all or nothing deal. Either so, doomsday come, you're not prepared, or screaming yeah. kid everywhere you go. But so, I, go ahead, JP. That's tough. I feel like I could get used to not being prepared better. If I wasn't prepared, I could still make some shit work out for me. Okay. But if there's a screaming kid everywhere always and there's no way to stop it, then fucking I'm taking the doomsday thing. I'm with you for almost the same reason. <clears throat> I figure if doomsday comes and I'm not prepared and I end up fucking dead, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Better than sitting next to a screaming kid no matter what forever. Unless you end definitely. up in hell and then there's a well, thousand I'm definitely going to kids. I'm definitely going to hell. <laughs> That's because you're sexual. There's preference. just going to be a bunch of <laughs> there's just going to be a bunch of women walking around in Birkenstocks and wool socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's your hell is that you have yeah. to date yeah. them, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. please them, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing, yeah. Uh, if I am not prepared for doomsday, that's my fault. That's on me. Yeah, I can live. I, well, I can die with that because it's it's my fault. If I can't get rid of a screaming kid everywhere yeah. I go, that's me putting up with something that's not my fault and whose fault it is is not doing a fucking thing about it. Yeah. I am going out with my head held high saying it's my fault. I fucked up and dying way before I'm not doing anything to this fucking screaming kid. Yeah. So, yep. we're, so we're, we're all anonymous. basically Unanimous. choosing sweep all the way we're through. We're all basically choosing death. Yep. Death over having to listen kids, to a yes. kid scream. That 100%. tells all of you parents out there who just let your kids sit there crying in a public place to 
Take care of the kid and get him out. No, let him cry. Teach him a lesson. <gasps> He'll learn. Anyways, yeah. teach him a lesson on your own time, not on everybody else's. Him. Don't ruin everybody else's experience because you're trying to teach a kid a lesson. No, nope, I'm gonna. That's it. That's why whenever I have a baby, I always have him right into the toilet. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, bro. Yep. Uh, 20 bucks is not even solid. Anyways, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode on Laughing on the Sidelines. Hey, thank you both, Mike yep. Baldwin and JP. Uh, very much uh, for being on this week's episode. Love all of you guys. Uh, Mike, you got any shows coming up anytime soon that you're aware of? Dude, I don't. I have stuff booked in January, February, and March. I have fucking nothing the rest of this month and nothing in October. And I need to come up with like fifteen hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> before the end of the month, or I'm gonna have red meet, on my on my shit. Meet or go go check out Mike Baldwin and check for his GoFundMe page. It's uh, I don't have a GoFundMe page. His but, GoFundMe page will be up by tomorrow morning you can, yeah. go, to, you can go to mike is and go. there's a link to uh financial assistance there you on go there and that's my assisting me financially there you go it's not uh, for your kids how about you jp anything coming up nope nope all right guess what you'll be here next week right i'll be here next you week you got something coming up buddy uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for listening to a full episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines page or oh, yeah. uh, Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. <laughs> thank you guys so very, very much for doing what you do and sharing the podcast with your friends. That's how we grow as a show. Uh, if you are, please just- fucking share it, man. <laughs> Can I please start getting paid for this shit? We uh, need to trying. get. We need to get there, man. We're getting there. We're getting there, especially for Mike because he may not eat next month. How many sponsors I'll don't eat. want to have a rainbow flag on their fucking product? I mean, we got yeah, one man. of the token ones. He's right I'm here. To- I'm a token gay. It's token gay. That's why I it's- will. I don't. I feel like you're not on the list of gay approved. Like you wouldn't be well, their wrong. choice to you're represent wrong. them. He I mean, hates. You're wrong. He hates wool socks and Birkenstocks. Right. Of course he's not. They're like, how do you feel about LGBT? And you're like, uh, ah, the, uh, the G yeah, is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. All the other ones are unnecessary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so very, very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. And like we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us. I hope your d- dick gets broken by a female <laughs> bodybuilder. <laughs> If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Uh, uh, Coca Cola for bloody polar bears. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, dick faces. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>